Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's go funny Lungu back with another reaction video. Uh, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Please don't forget to um, support us and motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just drop the name or the link down below and we'll be more than glad to check it out. Or I'll be more than glad to check it out. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as funny and Jesse. So I will say hi back. So today I'm going to be reacting to the bet Sheikh Ami Didat versus Jimmy Swaggart is the Bible, God's Word 17. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Version. The King James Version has thrown out those seven extra books. Thrown out. In other words, those seven extra books the, Christ, the Protestants do not accept as the word of God. You use certain technical terms like, like apocrypha, which the masses of Christendom do not know. What is this apocrypha? Apocrypha means doubtful, weak, not deserve to be in the book of God. As such, the Protestants threw it out as a fabrication. These seven books are thrown out from here. So this version, the Christian Protestants will not accept as the word of God. Am I correct? This is not the word of God. So we put it aside. I agree with you. What you tell me, I accept. You say it's not the word of God. I say I agree with you and I put it aside. Now you tell me that this is the word of God. The King James Version. With his 66 books. This was first published in 1611. By order of His Majesty King James whose name is still based today. Authorized version, authorized by who? Not God Almighty, by King James. He authorized it. Not God Almighty. There are some 24,000 manuscripts of the Word of God, of the New Testament alone, I should say, that dates back before 350 A.D. The original statement or signature or autograph of the Word of God does not exist. As I mentioned, the first one was printed on vellum or, or clay tablets some 3,500 years ago. They perished from overuse and from being put on material that had little lasting quality, at least not that long. But at any rate, some 24,000 copies have been made. And scholarship tells us when it concerns the ancient books of antiquity, if at least 10 copies are inexistent, you don't have to have the original to guarantee the original. And when one considers that there are 24,000 copies and there are some variants in those copies, we admit. But basically, the text is not changed. The boast about 24,000 manuscripts. Brother Swagat, you know no two are identical. Your scholars say out of the 24,000 that you're boasting about, no two are identical then how do you come to know that this is the word of God and this is not out of the 24,000? On the very face of it, when you open the book, the Injil and the Torah you're talking about, it says Mark, um, Matthew begins, in your version, the King James Version, it says the gospel according to St. Matthew, the gospel according to St. Mark, the gospel according to St. Luke, the gospel according to St. John. I'm asking, what is this according, according, according? What is this according to? Why according to? I have got Brother Swagger's book. It says you know, homosexuality, its cause and its cure by Jimmy Swaggart or just Jimmy Swaggart. It doesn't say according to Jimmy Swaggart. Why this in the book of God? According to, according to, according to, according to. You know why? Because Matthew didn't sign his name, Luke didn't sign his name, John didn't sign, Mark didn't sign his name, John didn't sign his name. These are assumed anonymous books. Anonymous books attributed to God.
and the genealogy and Matthew and Luke. In Matthew, it gives Joseph's genealogy, and in Luke, it gives Mary's genealogy. In the, the, the temple in Jerusalem, If there had been anything wrong with, I'm running out of time. <laughs> okay. If there had been anything wrong with the genealogy of Christ, they would have pointed it out immediately, but they did not. The genealogy between Matthew and Luke, we are given 66 fathers and grandfathers to Jesus. In a genealogy of 66 fathers and grandfathers, except for one name, no two names are identical. Separate list, everyone is a different name. Brother Swaggart says, one is the genealogy of Mary and one of Jesus. I say, why of Mary? Does the book say that? No. The book says this is the genealogy of Jesus Christ. The other one ends with Jesus Christ. There's no Mary inside. 66 names, no two are alike except one. And the father of Jesus Christ, allegedly, God Almighty, he is not there. Can you imagine God Almighty dictating the genealogy of his son in inverted commas? And yet he leaves himself out. He is going out of his way to dictate two genealogies with 66 names and he is not in it. He is not there. I am asking what is he trying to tell you? What is he really trying to tell you? when his name is not there. A man who had no genealogy, we believe. No genealogy. He was born miraculously, without any male intervention. You give him 66 fathers and grandfathers, and you say, this is God Almighty dictated. He says, we Muslims, Brother Swagat, we take strong exception to this type of handling of this mighty messenger of God. The Judah, the father of the Jewish race, from whom we get the word Judah, from whom we get the word Judaism, that he had prohibited with his daughter-in-law by the roadside. While he was on his way to Timbat, he sees this woman sitting by the wayside. And you know, he goes up to her and he says, allow me to come in unto thee. She said, what will thou give me? And he said, I'll give you a kid from the flock. So what guarantee that I will give it? He says, I'll give, he says, what, what guarantee do you want? He says, your signet and your bracelet and your staff. And the old man gave it to her and he prohibited with his daughter-in-law and beget twins, Fares and Zara. And they are put now in the genealogy of Jesus. That they are the great, these children of incest are the great grandfathers of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. It says, and this is the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of Abraham, the son of David, and Abraham being an Isaac, and Isaac being a Jacob, and Jacob being a Judas and his brethren. And Judas being a Fares and Zara of Tamar. Who are these? Look at the cross reference. It tells you Genesis chapter 38, and you find that this is the father-in-law prohibiting with his daughter-in-law, produces the children of incest, and they are honored to become the great grandfathers of Jesus Christ. I want to know how does this come into the book of God? How does this come into the gene genealogy of a man who had no genealogy? in his ascension. I give you the ascension. Brother Swaggart quotes in his book, Mark chapter 16, verse 16, another place, Mark chapter 16, verse 19. I say, it's not in my Bible. I didn't print this. The Jews didn't print it. The Hindus didn't print it. You Christians, you produced this book, and you are telling me that this is the most up-to-date Bible, going to the most ancient manuscripts. So I look up for Ma Mark chapter 16. I see it ends at verse 8. 9 to 20 is missing. Did I take it out? The Muslims took it out? No. 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 covering de denominations, they thought it fit that this is another fabrication imposed upon Christendom. And they also threw it out. It's not in my Bible. Therefore, it is not the word of God. If this is the word of God, then that is not the word of God. But I pick up another Bible. Look at this. Look at these two. Brother Swagat, identical. Look at that. 
I see back again, it's inside. What was thrown out? The ascension. There are only two places in, in the Gospels. In the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, there are only two places where ascension is mentioned. Mark chapter 16, verse 19. Luke chapter 24, verse 51. Thrown out of this version, thrown out as fabrication, ascension. And yet these Bibles, each and every one of them, they tell us that Jesus, when he went to Jerusalem, he rode the donkey into Jerusalem, Matthew says. Mark says he rode the donkey into Jerusalem. Luke says he rode the donkey into Jerusalem. John says he rode the donkey into Jerusalem. Look. An interesting video to watch. Um, the person cutting this did a very good job, but it makes it seem so... Um, what can I say? I don't even know what word I'm looking for, but it was interesting to listen to the they're like covering different parts while they speak uh one thing i'd love to talk about is the fact that he, uh yes the christians are agreeing that there's missed there's this mistake and that what's good about that is the fact that someone is admitting to the mistake that's there you know um but the fact that muslims do actually not pray to the god of the bible but accept the message that comes with it i think it's safe to say that the bible can stand on its own and be classified as the word of god despite it saying according to peter according to matthew according to whoever compiled it you know um many times i'm asking why not remove the mistakes i'd love to focus on why not read or research on the verses that verses or chapters that have removed that have been removed from the bible to see what they talk about and see where that takes us if anyone has read them let me know down below if there's anything you want me to react to or you can answer my question let me know down below for the reactions just give me the name or the link i'll check it out for your comments just feel free to contribute anything you want about this video it will be welcome make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video